up, everybody? Paul George, better fit for the Clippers or the Cavs? First take. Let's check it out. See what they're talking about. What it do. Let's go. Sources have confirmed to ESPN that the Pacers have called the Cavaliers about a possible trade for Paul George, but they aren't the only team interested. The Sporting News is reporting that the Clippers are mm, also interested in a possible nice. sign and trade Man, from PG-13. Get this, and we already Man, know get this motherfucker. Clear. I like that. Course, Man, he's a shooter too. Awesome. Knockdown shooter. Hey, he, he can ball when it's time to ball. I believe it would be Shit. A Los Angeles Clippers. I don't think there's any question in my mind. Uh, I think he'd be better suited for the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, him with CP3, with DeAndre Jordan. No, the Clippers ain't got what it takes, man. They, they DNA is not made up for championship. I'm sorry. No. Nah. I mean, you talking nah. about Mba Amute at your starting nah. small um, forward. Blake Griffin can't, can't stay healthy. No. Lick. He can defend. Huh. There's no question about that. Nah. But he can't score. And so consistently you find yourself playing four on five basketball, which puts you uh -huh. in the pick and roll uh -huh. situations, pick and pop situations. No, that DNA ain't made that up with the championship. It ain't got Reddick, That's not going to cut it. Nah. And so as a result, it vastly limited the capabilities of the Los Angeles Clippers. Paul George changes all of that because he you got to change all that in DeAndre shit. Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan, had it not been for his, had it not, had it, were it not rather for his free throw shooting, he would be the ideal big man in the game because he can defend, he can rebound, he can block shots, and more importantly, he runs up and down the floor. They do. For those that shit at the crunch so time. Because of that, they gonna foul. Him. Slow you he down into him. a half court he offense that sets you up to fail he against making. formidable defenses. Then you've got CP3 who can do what he does. I believe their two biggest needs are the small forward and a big guard. Paul George actually fills both. Now, he can't he do, do feel both, both by himself, he but he can play either or, yeah. which is a huge, huge help. I think because of that reality and because of the He don't need to go nowhere where he needs to be. And he's made sure it's very, very clear. Mm -hmm. And he'd be a huge, huge chance because he's Paul George. And you have an opportunity to compete for a championship with him and you don't know what the Lakers are going to be able to do. The one place that has a chance of changing his mind and it's slim to none would be the Clippers because they're right there in L.A. First of all, DeAndre yeah. Jordan, nothing's yeah. free throws. He did want to shoot from the outside. Carl right Anthony Towns or an MD or Porzingis, these bigs who can do that. Knock wood, DeAndre stayed healthy and hopefully that continues. But all those other things, you're right. He's turned himself into an excellent player. Um, the answer, however, is Paul George is best suited for the Cavs. He is. I think so, too. The Clippers yep. get Paul George and Hell have to yeah. give up Blake Griffin. They still ain't got nothing for the Warriors. Zip. They will not get zip, bounced not by the Warriors again. Nothing for the Warriors. They probably get bounced by Hell the Spurs no. when all is said. No, but who knows? doesn't matter. They're not getting out of the West. Man. But the Cavs, still, you favor the Warriors over the Cavs. Mm -hmm. But if you have to give up Kevin Love, you get rid of some of that offensive rebounding, Outside shooting and outlet passing, that's valuable for them. But you replace it with Paul George, a two-way player of that man, caliber. That's, man, that's you going to be with LeBron James. Yeah. The history of this league hasn't changed that much. Man, you oh, can... it's point guards and stretch fours now. No, yeah. it's not. It's still two-way wing players that two -way dominate wing LeBron players. James, Kevin Durant, <laughs> Two-way wing players, players. it is. Two-way wing the players. The combinations in recent years that have been two -way dominated wing players. that two-way wing player with a big... Forget about power forward or center. A guy who can guard the basket, play in the post with his back to the basket, do all those things that a traditional big Tim Duncan, Shaquille O'Neal, and all these guys. You either have the two-way wing player or the big, or two two-way wing players. Pippen and Jordan, Wade and mm -hmm. LeBron. Pippen and Jordan, Wade and LeBron. LeBron and Kyrie, in a way, although he's not really two-way. He doesn't mm -hmm. play defense. Paul George is. Ooh, yeah. More than that, though, yeah. Stephen A., the reason the Cavs are able to decimate the East in the playoffs in a way that they are not able to do it in the regular season, and then actually even compete with the Warriors, because let's face it, they were one or two bad possessions away from forcing it six games against this Warriors team. No one else could get one single win against them. Is because they have players who in high leverage moments can turn it on and they're simply better than everyone on the other side. Mm. LeBron and Kyrie can do that. The when other push ones, comes to shove, other ones can't do when shit. fit hits the shan, the these two guys start. can be better mm. than your best two guys. Mm -hmm. but the That's other why guys. the Warriors went out and got Kevin Durant. Really, like, what did that do? It negated some of that. If you have Paul George with those two guys, oh, shit, you man, have that's, three ooh, guys. Three guys that can do the it. Horses. They're Hell yeah, you got better horses. than your guys. And when you need them to the most, defensively, even Kyrie, though he doesn't often do it, <laughs> offensively, <laughs> He high leverage moments, 
picking, instead of, you know, pick, picking mismatches, just give the ball to those guys, run it through them. LeBron, Paul George, Kyrie, give anyone a run for their money. Hey, well, I wasn't yeah, disagreeing yeah. with that because that's why we mentioned the Cavs and Paul George earlier. What I was saying was long term. Yeah, if you're thinking you about fair. this, if you're thinking about yeah, this. Nobody's thinking about long term. They're thinking about what they can get right Jerry now. Jerry West now there with Doc Rivers and thinking about some of the other parts, supplementary parts that you put around that. That nucleus of CP3, Paul George, and DeAndre Jordan. I don't, I don't think that's bad at all, but nothing's better. Nothing's a better option outside of Golden State than Cleveland for anybody. <laughs> well, if he went to Golden State, he'd be killed, too. This would be a response to what Golden State just did. But even if Paul George is a one-year rental, if he go to Golden State, view, come on, man. Yeah. Cats, Dude, they can, that, that's not even possible. I don't think the commissioner anyway, would. Nah, hell no. They can both go to L.A. together next year. Hell no. Man, hell no. I'm thinking Kyrie... LeBron and Paul, that team right there can get a what's the name? Golden State Warriors to run for their money. They might damage. I might even go out and say, fuck it. They'll fucking beat them. All right. Tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. Peace.